This is my spoiler review on Long Legs. Check out part one for my quick spoiler free review on if you should watch it. Three is incredible, negative three is garbage, and zero is meh. Yeah. Let's get to it. For personal enjoyment, I give it a two out of three. I felt constant paranoia and dreaded where the story was going, knowing that each reveal of the mystery was going to get worse. Obviously, if you don't like getting scared, gore, or disturbing imagery, then you won't enjoy this. But if you do, you'll really enjoy it. There are many different types of horror films. Common ones are slashers, zombies, home invasions, ghosts, monsters. Films like Insidious, 28 Days Later, Grave Encounters. These are all more commercial horror films that enjoy jump scares with a fast paced epic climax where our protagonists usually have agency fighting against the horror. Then you have more art house films that are typically slower with subtle horror where they don't use many or any jump scares and often have the horror imagery in the corner of the screen where the horror is the understanding and the reveal of the disturbing reality over character circumstances and decisions where it's almost pointless what they choose to do. Long Legs is definitely the latter and I love the film because of it. For film language, I give it a 2 out of 3. The film was beautiful, disturbing and dreadful, but beautifully so. My eyes were blessed with gorgeous cinematic compositions. It wasn't just eye candy. Its cinematography was used to convey this never-ending sense of dread and paranoia. Most scenes were framed wide, where Lee was consistently placed in a vulnerable position where someone or something could easily harm her. Many times I would stare at an empty door frame, just like, oh, <laughs> ooh, I hate this, something's gonna Whew, I hated it. I hated it, but you know, I loved it. <laughs> The editing was also very precise. Each cut was done deliberately to convey a sense of unease and feel just a hair out of place so that when you expect to jump, it would either happen a little sooner than you are ready for or a little later, right after your guard is down. <laughs> the score was also great. It was very minimal and close to silent. It was whatever the opposite of white noise is that you'd use to sleep. It was a noise you barely heard, making you feel just, just off. The acting by Micah Monroe was phenomenal. She really does well in these horror roles. Of course, Nicolas Cage was amazing as usual, but if you were keeping up with the marketing, it definitely felt overhyped. He's great, but it's nothing he hasn't done before. I think one of his best roles is in a movie I'll recommend at the end. So rapid fire thoughts. I enjoyed the breakdown of the horror magic and what led to the end of the film. I just wish it wasn't so on the nose. It felt like the director didn't trust the audience to be smart enough to piece it together and understand what happened. It lost a bit of its mystery and atmosphere in the last third of the film because of it. Apparently throughout the film, you could see Baphomet's silhouette right next to Lee or somewhere behind her. And I love that in horror media. I love it when that scary imagery is just like kind of there, kind of not. You don't know, but you just feel unease. I love that. Also, the first time you see the eyes of the doll glow red through the black veil, it gave me chills. Did it affect you? Let me know your thoughts on these. Ask me questions, tell me your favorite scenes, let's discuss this movie in the comments. Also tell me what movie you'd like me to review next. For the final score, I give it a 2 out of 3. Here are some film recommendations. For a disturbing imagery with a mystery that slowly reveals the true horror that is reality, The Black Coat's Daughter. That one really got me. The imagery there, just like, it just stuck with me for some reason. It wasn't like, ah, scary film. I felt unease after watching it. I just, like the scare, like the horror dread just clung on to me. For more of Nicolas Cage in one of his best acting roles, Pig. Go watch Long Legs yourself to form your own opinion, and I'll see you at my next film review.